Sagittarius to your end of the month reading for November. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving last week. Okay, friends, let's get in here and see what is going on with you. Sorry, I am not doing the moon, uh, full moon readings this month due to Thanksgiving. <laughs> kind of lost time. So what I am doing is I'm going to go ahead and pull a few cards uh, for the full moon. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Okay, I'm pulling a full, full moon card over here. Reflect on your priorities. Having that full moon tomorrow. So let's see what's going on. Um, release, you know, holding you back from manifesting any kind of energies. People, it's time to let go. It is a full moon. It is time to cleanse um, and then start manifesting. Um, full moon in Capricorn, take a reality check. Make sure that everything that you're looking at reflects on what it is you truly want, um, right? What is it? What is it that I truly want at this time? Um, I mean, it's the end of the year. Let's get those end of the year um, things done. Let's get them going, uh, you know, or start getting ready for 2024, however it is, right? Maybe even both. Um, the full moon in Sagittarius, see the bigger picture. So take a reality check, you know, reflect on your priorities. What is it that I truly want? And then speak your world into being. For those of you who are manifesting consciously, um, remember, we are manifesting every day, consci <laughs> consciously or not, right? Breathe through your tensions. Okay, so anything that might feel like you're getting on my nerve, I'm getting a little tension, um, go ahead and breathe through that. Breathing is life, right? Take a few deep breaths and release. Um, it does feel like there could be someone around you that could be causing some tension. It could be a Scorpio, right? Or a Capricorn. Um, and if you feel like this, these, you know, they're kind of getting on my nerve a little bit, um, you know, go ahead and, right, <laughs> breathe, um, right, calm that down. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. So, best messages coming through for the end of the week is nice, rapid action and movement, manifesting quickly. So whatever it is that it feels like you are manifesting, it feels like it is coming in. I think for a lot of you, you're manifesting the same thing over and over again. And now you're going to start seeing the results of this manifestation starting to actually appear towards you, coming towards you, making quick decisions as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So there could be something also that it's been on your mind that you need to make some kind of swift change or quick decision. And maybe that's where the tension is also coming through as well. It could be something that has to do with a breakup. Um, you, ooh, some kind of message of a breakup. There's that tension again. So it does feel like it could be in the love category that somebody is bringing in some kind of communication that you're not really liking, um, which could cause even more broken communication between the two of you. So yes, make sure guys to breathe. Um, seeing the bigger picture of the situation, um, it's talking about you taking control, being in control, right? I also see a lot of abundance and prosperity coming your way um, towards the end of the month, going into the beginning of the month. So also be, um, <clears throat> excuse me, aware of that. My throat is all weird right now. Um, there could even be some kind of business opportunity coming towards you where it's going to make you want to stand up and take the lead. Excuse me, I'm going to get something to drink. My throat is a little weird. Um, Speak your world into being. You do have the new projects or some kind of ins inspiring new urge to create or something coming in where it's some kind of new beginning that you are speaking into reality. Like I said, some of you, your manifestations are definitely coming in right now. And you're going to see these new opportunities growing right before your eyes. Um, some kind of potential as well. Yeah, there's just dark cloud over the situation. I feel this dark cloud is wherever this person is over here with the two of cups in reverse. So wherever you're feeling some kind of negativity when it comes to this situation, um, make sure that you are breathing through it so that you can get a bigger, yeah, get the bigger picture, get yourself more optimistic about the situation. I mean, it could have something that has to do with your priorities as well. Somebody might be dropping the ball around you um, and you're not trusting what they're doing. Um, it might feel like you're carrying all the weight. 
Spirit says, go ahead and release that feeling, you know, of being burned out. Take time out for yourself. Rest, relax, right? Um, and you might have to, you know, when they're coming towards you with whatever tensions that they're coming towards you, remember to kind of be respective of their differences, right? Maybe they're agreeing to disagree about a situation which is causing diversity. Eh, you know what? Fine. If that's the way you want to feel about the situation, fine, right? Because all it feels like that they want to do is kind of argue. Sorry, that's exactly how it feels. And it feels like in a lot of ways the best answer is just to kind of hold back from this situation uh, because it feels like anything you're going to say towards this person is going to be a bad choice anyways. <laughs> Nothing is you're going to say to this person is going to change their mind about how they feel they want to challenge you. Wow. And it could even be something that has to do with some kind of competition. They're in competition mode. They're in defense mode. Right. They want to maintain control. They want to be the challenge. And it just feels like you're going to be kind of like in protection mode. So it just feels like, I'm sorry, my friends, whatever you're going to say at this time, they are not going to listen anyways. Right. So it's almost like you're going to waste your breath. Okay. So, okay. Let's get a card over here and see what is going on within the situation. Clarify a couple of cards, please. Windfall of abundance. I see that with the King of Pentacles. So it does say that an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life, purpose, health, and charitable work. So I do feel it goes over there. See the abundance coming towards you. Do not just see. Don't just see what they're doing. Look at all the other good things that are coming your way, right? Looking at the bigger picture. Focus on your priorities. Now, that's crazy because it says reflect on your priorities. So spirit is really about prioritizing right now on what it is that's really, truly important to you at this time. This person's over here, their actions and the way they're acting, it could be really important to you to want to fix the situation, but I feel like right now they just want attention, bad attention, negative attention is attention, right? Wanting to get it, however, it could be dealing with a child. It's kind of childish behavior. Um, where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. That's why you want to focus on the windfall. If you're focusing, remember we're manifesting too, if you're putting all your focus on what's negative, then you're only going to get what's negative back because of law and attraction. So you want to focus your attention on the windfall of abundance, on the open doors, on the other good things that are happening around you. Do not allow this person to put you into a challenging place of only focusing upon their negative you know, behavior. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Worry about the windfall of abundance. Don't give this person so much attention, so much time. That's too much energy. That's a lot of negative energy that's just going to continue to keep snowballing effect. That's all it is. Because negative builds negative, builds negative, right? It's like, I'm sorry, I have other things to worry about that are, you know, that are positive, that are our priorities, that are important. This is, you know, might be important, but if it's all negative, it's not going to, it's not going to fix anything. They're making it worse. Donations, tidings, and charitable work. For some of you, you might be doing some charitable work. You may have done charitable work during Thanksgiving. Maybe you helped out at the soup house. Wow, that could be where your windfall of abundance is coming from as well. Anytime we give charitable work, we receive. You know, whether we want to believe it or not, it doesn't matter. The universe doesn't care what we believe. Give joyfully to the organization and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you in many fold, in miracle, miraculous excuse me, ways. The time, supplies, money, and other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. And that's another reason why. You don't want to be dealing with all this negative stuff. You don't want negative stuff coming back. Yeah, hold back. Don't get involved too much. Unlimited ideas. Your mind is one of God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have the complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Okay. Beautiful.
beautiful messages from Spirit. Thank you. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.